I'd like to welcome one more back to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum Edition. And I just noticed that my pools are very blocky from a distance and my whirlpools look like ass. That is very bad. But anyway, you can see that I have a buttload of guests and I have achieved Tycoon conditions. Sort of-ish. Uh, so as you can see, I have a giant ferris, we have a roller coaster here that's really nice. I decided to put down some nice decorations to make the place look snazzy. Got a big ass Ferris wheel and all sorts. Look, look at how much much bigger the park is now. There, are, I never, I never ever gotten this many guests going for the objectives alone. And yet, I have the safest park. Look at this, look at this rating. I have a thousand. My park is so fucking cool. People just don't know how to what to rate it, but pure perfection. I also get a bucket of cash every time. Look at that. The pool is like a massive source of income. But look at that. All the coinjamins, people. All of them. Not one, not two. All the coinjamins. But we're going to end this park with the opening of the last required attraction. Now, I was incorrect uh, before when I said that you could buy it. You only get to buy this land after getting the entrepreneur status. It's expensive land, too. Is it that expensive? Is it, like, supersonic expensive? Is it like a super s oh what do you money? I'll just wait a few seconds and see if the money comes eventually. Oh, that's expensive. But that's it, that's it. This park is done and um let's go to the career menu. So these two levels are ass, and I'm gonna show you why. Mountain Rescue and the other one, Fan La La Land, are difficult as fuck. They put down some heavy requirements, and they require you to sniff your thumb after you put it in some sort of... Nah, no, just kidding. My thumb does smell a bit funky. Might have been because I've been scratching the armpits. Then again, if you scratch compost heap, it's not going to be much better now, is it? Pre-activate and post-activate. Wow. Can I see some activation, you know? So we need to get some coasters. And then something strange happens. We need to get a minimum altitude. So we can't... Does that kind of like mean like it needs to be that high? Or look at this. We need to get super fast coasters. Super exciting coasters. High coasters. Long coasters. And we need to have a bucket of guests. Now, the guests won't be a problem because we're almost there. The problem is, I don't I have lots of money for some reason. I can put an entry fee. This park is mostly going to be figuring out which coasters to use. Now you may notice one thing is that this park is split into two individual compartments. The good part about these compartments is that we own the easement rights to every portion in between. For the rest we own these large portions of the park. Can we landscape? We can't landscape. That makes this significantly more difficult because it means that I'm stuck with what I'm given. I have no idea how I'm going to pull this level off. Um, I'm probably going to off-screen everything about this level. Because it's just too difficult. And then I'll talk about my strategy on-screen as I review my park. Because this is, this is a level that has incredibly difficult objectives. Not just waiting-wise. Like, there's a limit in space. There are restrictions that require you to build things high up. It's... It's very much, you've got to think about things more than you usually do. Oh, that's a blue duck. I want to pop the, yay, I popped the blue duck. They popped the yellow feathers. This is really a good park. I remember this park being an ass to finish. Even with cheat codes, which is how I, or, can, how I did my original playthrough in, in long, long ago, when I was a little munchkin. Even back then, this, even with cheat codes, this is a ridiculously hard level to do well. Not to do right, like, oh, you get it, but to do it well is, like, difficult. Um, you just start out with this one attraction, which is a chairlift that takes people from one side to the other. It's nothing interesting. It's just an attraction. La La Land is not a difficult park. It's, it's pretty easy setup. It's not like the mountain. I think you can do a landscaping. The problem with La La Land lies in the finesse of the level. In the finesse of its objectives. You're going to get a lot of VIPs. And they're going to be very demanding of your attractions. 
Um, and you, normally you either have VIPs all the way through, like the same, or you have a VIP at the end that's like, oh, I want this and this. Um, but this time it's a little bit more difficult, dif different. We have one that wants a roller coaster and doesn't tolerate breakdowns. That's that's a pretty big demand to put in me in a month or two. And we gotta get park value up to seventy. Th that's not difficult. That's something we can do on a dime. But look at this. Wants to visit two roller coasters with five. Wants to visit a Mixmaster display. I don't know how to set up Mixmaster displays, so I'm gonna have to look that up. I really don't know. What is? Isn't Mixmaster display? Isn't that like? Okay, so this is how you set up a Mixmaster display. I thought Mixmaster displays were like from uh, the Wild expansion pa pack, but apparently they're not because this is the vanilla game. Um, then we have this guy who wants to visit, and then we have people who want to visit an adventure-themed area and a sci-fi-themed area. These are very strange objectives. And the park you start out with has a few attractions left and right, and it definitely doesn't give you the most difficult of all objectives. It's definitely one of the nicer parks. No free rides. Do we get? We don't get to place an admission fee, which is kind of annoying. I like admission fees. I think I've already made that point clear. So this is going to be a level where you're more going to be spending time making sure that everything works. The bigger problem is that it's very tiny. Yes, you can purchase land. I think for a nickel and a dime. No, it's also expensive. Fuck. But I think this level is mostly going to be like, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to put that over there. Like it's going to be a lot of land grabbing. I have landscaping. I want to drown my people. I don't want my guests to live anymore. So yeah, there's going to be lots of stuff to do, and uh, like I said, I'm going to do these two levels, which are the last two levels before the master levels. Let me show that actually. These are the master levels. You need to complete all entrepreneur and all tycoon to get these. We have all the tycoons so far, except three levels. These are going to be two very difficult scenarios, or very fun scenarios as a reward. We also have Cosmic Crags, but one thing I want to show. For the next episodes, we're going to do these. Because I want to save the last vanilla levels for last. I don't know what they are, I have no idea what to expect, but these are going to be saved for last, and they're going to be fantastic. So I've already set out for Cosmic Crags a bit. While the setting here is straight from pulp sci-fi books of your, your challenge is all too real to create a park that would make your favorite space heroes proud. With only small patches of level land to build on, the seeds for funding your for your very own space race already sown. I didn't read that right, but that doesn't matter now, does it? I always like double loading bars, where there's like a loading bar under the loading bar. The one that tells you, oh, this this part is like this much done. And then it tells you, oh, the whole thing is this much done. It's so informative, it just makes me giggle. <laughs> ha! And creepy giggles are fun. Can I landscape in this level? Yes, I... Why would you say, oh, there's no level la Holy fuck, why do I have so much loan? I have... Oh. They did this in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, too. Where you have, like, more loan than you have actual money. And you get all these strange carnivorous plants on the sidewalk. Um, let's do a little bit. Okay, so we can't put down entry fees, so it's all gonna be uh, on the parks. We own a good portion of land. We don't own any easement rights. This is probably gonna go up for sale once. Like, I remember that in the days of yesteryear, like, only a few parks give you uh, direct money for completing the objectives. So let's see, we got a we got a nice bit of park to work with. Uh, we get some nice crystals here, some nice chairs. Oh, those are very nice chairs. I'm going to sit on one while I think about this. Mm, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's a nice chair. Um, I'm going to build my pool over here. I don't want to do animals. I don't like animals. They're going to be a big part of the wild expansion pack levels, so I have to learn that again. Those might come in useful for the other two super parks. Which I might do a little bit on screen because I do intend to do them way after the rest of them. And that's a nice building, by the way. I'm just inspecting it a bit. Uh, let's see, how do the guests arrive? Nice right patch of land. Okay, so they just, yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's consider plopping some things down. We can sell some UFO balloons. Um, first things first. I want to change the way the pathing works because I don't like it. 
when people can move all over my park indiscriminately. You have our balloons? Get you with our balloons here! Yeah! Space shake. I always like starting with the uh, coconut and pine. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't really like the sound of it, but whatever. It's my no. My mouse is not currently on any of the accelerator. Why do I get cookies? Listen, I know that there are many cookie walls out there, but pfft. extra large. No. That makes people way too unhungry for way too long. And hungry people buy more shit. People that buy more shit are more better. I think I'm gonna build a zipper here. Could have actually built it in here, that would have been cool. That's a missed opportunity then. I remember the old game that like the, the 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 walking paths were all like that blue stuff like they were like this but they were blue and they always like cost 12 and pathing would cost significantly less so in that game like building too much cues was like expensive so that was like funny that was like 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 this video what I need to stop liking stuff so much I hope that noise was caught, because that was a silly little noise, and it definitely added to the atmosphere. Should I say the atmosphere? That's actually a board game, so I can't make that joke without getting problems with copyright. Ha 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 ha! Get on my attractions, you fucks! I need money! Cause it's all about the money! I always like starting out with a little pool, like a wee little pool. Nice, calm, little pool. Do 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 Oh man! People are digging this pool. Why the hell is my loan interest that much? Is it really that much? Holy fuck it is that- Oh, fuck, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I am so dead. I am so dead. You're not so dead. You're not so dead. Please come to Burger King and order a pizza. We'll kick you in the groin for trying. 
This pool is pool-tastic. Are you f Oh no, no, it was just an error, I guess. Or was it? Re- Why the- Who the- Whoa, 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 whoa! You're going way over budget. I need my money elsewhere, and I don't need roller coasters. Do I? I don't need roller coasters. Nope! I just need park value and ride income. Transport rides can suck at other rides and attractions. So absolutely, there's a great scenery. Is not so ah, just a little bit of scenery, I guess. A little bit of pathing. No show elements. Don't need that. Pools and slides, probably a bit. Gentle rides are great. I love thrill rides. Don't like water rides so much. No, 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 not so much of juniors. Okay, so we barely cut even. In fact, we didn't cut even. Can I put an entry fee? At oh, I can't put. I hate not putting entry fees. Admission fees are okay, but like entry fees is where the big dope is at. It's also apparently really good value. Yeah, too many people are all vomiting. I need to put down a janitor. Or should I say Juan Itor? If that's his real name. People are eating up this pool, man. That's so considerate of you, Mr. Video Game. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. That's a marvel of technology. It would be a bitch to get out of that thing, though, because how the fuck do you get out of that thing? Can someone please tell me? I don't know. <clears throat> But jingle what the fuck? Oh man, this loan interest is crazy. I'm gonna get rid of as much of that loan as I can. That loan is the sole reason I ran a loss, really? Are you sure it's not the fact that I oh wait, I have plenty of guests. Why is everyone throwing up? But it's a planetarium! Who doesn't like a good planetarium? Back in my day, planetariums were considered witchcraft, kiddo! That is a little bit intense, I guess. I cut a 10 euro profit. And I apparently made a random 80 cents. Yay! <laughs> what the fuck did that come from? Let's not research anything for now. Like, who is doing that research anyway? It's never explained what it means. It's just like, new construction options. Research complete. I have to be honest, right now this place looks more like a sorry excuse for a Luna Park than a real amusement park. Yeah. Yes, the money's coming in, which means I can start investing.
the fencing did change. What the hell? I want it to be really good value because being a really good value park means that people are like, oh man, it's super good. I'm gonna come back here later. I wonder if people do ever come back to your park, like once they leave. I remember back in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 that you had laser fences. Those things were baller. God damn it, I'm stagnating. I need another attraction somewhere, something. Honestly, the planetarium is sucking a big one right now. So maybe the 3D cinema will do better. See, it's a lot more exciting than that planetarium. Which means more guests. And more guests means more profit. And more profit means more money! And more money, my friends. Do I even need to explain what more money means? More money, more problems, they used to say. They might be right, but I don't care. Hello, Mr. Mechanic. Are you enjoying walking circles? The mechanics were also wearing blue suits. I think they look exactly the same, like, color-wise and whatnot. People are loving 3D cinema. It is racking in a profit real fast. Why did the fencing change? Is that, like, some sort of visual cue? Because I don't need to know that! It's like, un like unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 where you can like build things compa- It's strange that in a game where your three-dimensional perception is very much limited, it's much easier to build things in three dimensions and whatnot. Mini helicopters. No, I didn't- what the fuck, man. A planet Aryan. Everyone's buying those UFO balloons. Need to know more about this. Are they like really good value? Because everyone is buying those damn things. And getting a good profit on those, that's exactly where the money is at, bitch. Oh cool, there's like random lights everywhere. Sweet. Okay, so it's still really good value. Which is a good thing. Because it's at the corner, because I can move it. I think it's because every it's like it's like not in the right position to sell. Kids, umbrella. 
Ella, Ella, sells well, well. People need to go to my space shakes. That's where the money's at. Like, it's one stall, people. I have enough. <sighs> I think I'm gonna do this in my own time, because we, we've kind of seen what's going on here. It's like, oh no, the interest rate is killing me! This is kind of neat. I can use the right mouse button to do this, but I can press the left mouse button and then turn instead of having to release and press the middle mouse button. That's so considerate. I don't know why people don't come in with backpacks and food. Like, when we go to amusement parks, or when we used to, um, we always took, like, backpacks with some drinks and some, and some whatnot, you know, some food. We never came to the amusement park thirsty and without, like, supplies. We came prepared for a moderate apocalypse, so to speak. Because why spend so much money on expensive stuff that I'm... Quite glad that people aren't taking stuff with them because I'd be not be making the profit I would be. If it wasn't for those meddling kids. The pool's apparently still pool tastic. Do 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 Where's my money going? Like, I make a- Oh, whoa, what the hell? Why did I make- Oh, yeah, because less people want my tra- Oh, yeah. Makes sense, considering that an attraction was broken down. I'm not gonna place it unless I know for damn sure that I'm making a good pro- Yeah, see? That's the kind of stuff that gets you under the table. It's like, oh, no, it's only- It's a loan payment. Actually, that's where I was going to build my stuff, so let's build it over here. When I build this thing, and I'm not suffering under heavy loan whatnot, then I'm going to call the quitsies. Now that I have more attractions, I can have more people in my park. And more people in my park means more people buying my shit. More people buying my stuff means more... Yeah! Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Let's see. Let me guess. Repaying loan. Yep. Like, repay loan is like the entrepreneur's go-to guy, I've noticed. And I think I've already made that statement, but it's really the go-to guy here. Next time when you're coming back, you're going to see some nice attractions around this park. This is a pretty good song, by the way. And that's actually some really nice shadows.
Hope you all enjoy the episode. If you did, yeah. I'm sleepy. I don't know why, but I'm just kind of tired. Let's see. Do I have any cheap coasters I could build? I think I'd rather pay off my loan than pull down a coaster right now, though. This this level feels very restrictive on what I can do and what I should be doing. Here, research some stuff with 10 euros. Make something out of it. <laughs> I need rides. I really need them. In case you're curious, I always make two save files when I'm playing levels uh, on the, in the background. The first save I make is the save at the end of the episode, which is my save game dot dot whatnot. It's the default name. The second save I make is... Oh, this is a star pad. Look at that. That's pretty cool with these triangles. Looks like the center these like the star point. Uh, the second save I make is typically with a 1 in there somewhere that is the actual save of me progressing so that I don't lose progress. So, you know. By the way, the system on how they make fences, this looks really weird. <laughs> 